At Althea College, the Winx faced four mysterious wizards and suffered a serious defeat. A big adventure started for the Winx, which led them to discover great powers and new secrets. Miss Farragonda revealed the first secret, an ancient and terrible truth about the human world and its lost fairy. <laughs> We're ready, Professor Palladium. Let the simulation begin. These hollow virtual projections are drawn from the actual memories of fairies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now then, girls, you're about to learn the history of the Hunters of the Black Serpent. That's Earth! You're right, Tecna. Their story begins in the human world, in a time when Earth's energy was in the magical hands oh. of fairies. And they would dispense that energy through air, water, and fire. But that ended when four men arrived, the Wizards of the Black Circle. <gasps> That's them! We want a rematch! Uh, yeah, bring Calm them. down. You must learn about your enemies before you can defeat them. Their dark magic is almost impossible to defeat. These wizards created a spell which protected them from a fairy's magic. They would catch fairies, steal their wings, oh and take their power. <gasps> One by one, the fairies of Earth were defeated, and with each fairy they destroyed, Ogron and the wizards of the Black Circle became more powerful. No one could beat them? There must be a way. Maybe an encoded spell. Morgana, the queen of the Earth fairies, tried that, but even she was defeated. And not even the major fairies, the supreme guardians of nature's forces, could beat the wizards of the Black Circle. Ogron had won, and magic on Earth disappeared. This is horrible. I, I always grew up hearing fairy stories, but never anything terrible like this one. That's because humans soon forgot about us. We became nothing more than storybook figures read about in fairy tales. But without fairies, who protected the Earth from darkness? Nobody. And the human world, with no protection, slipped into chaos, war, intolerance. Oh, no. <laughs> If we find those four guys again, we're going to rewrite history and make them part of the past. The only chance to defeat them is if humans believe in magic again. But even if that happens, the wizards will not be easy to beat. Maybe so, but they already made one mistake by revealing some. That were six weakling fairies? No! Now we know that the wizards of the Black Circle are on their way to Earth. There's still one fairy left there, so we know where we can find them. The wizards of the Black Circle capture this last Earth Fairy, they will become too powerful to ever defeat. You girls must find her first. Earth is a really big planet. True, but you grew up there, Bloom. So where do you think we should start to look? I'm not sure where to start, but she'll need our help, and we have to find her as fast as possible. We're all with you, Bloom. When do we leave? We have to pack. What Earth season is it now? Uh, before you make your preparations, you may want to say hello to someone who came a long way just to see you. Straight from Red Fountain, the specialists are here and at your service. Naboo! <laughs> Aisha, we heard about the Dark Wizards attack at Althea. Are you okay? We wanted to come sooner, but... What matters is that you're here now. I'm so happy to see you, Helia. <laughs> Not as happy as I am to see you. So tell me, Stella, are those guys as tough as they say they are? Not just tough, but terrifying. Bad hair, unwashed neo -goth. scary. Well, they're gone now, so no worries. And all that matters is that in the end, you guys won, and they did it. Oh, sure. If you call them walking away from six fairies knocked on the ground helpless winning, then I guess... No. Oh. <laughs> winning is when you can rise from a defeat and plan victory with people who believe in you. Really well said, Riven. Tell me, did you come up with that all by yourself? Uh, hey, how can you diss me like that? Okay, Helia wrote it for me. You know he's better at saying those kind of things. Yep. <laughs> hey, Timmy, what's going on? Oh, there's a phase error in section 1701. 
It looks like a distortion at a submolecular level. An unusual but not rare anomaly of the transdimensional engines. The self-diagnosis system of the ship should reset itself automatically. Estimated time for the operation? One minute. Which, considering the length of our conversation, is right about now. now. Whoa! Hey, so why the sad face, Blue? Come on, Brandon. I mean, duh. Obviously, she misses Sky. Well, I guess I'm getting used to it. Since this whole king and training thing began, Sky hasn't had much time for me, but I understand. He's a busy guy now. He has responsibilities, protocol, all that boring palace stuff. Yeah, with all that going on, you'd have to be really into someone to find time to get away and visit them. Ladies, gents, fairies, and specialists, behold Sky, straight from Heraklion. Huh? <laughs> 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 nice royal swagger, Sky. <laughs> <Huh? laughs> So good to see you, Sky. I couldn't get here fast enough, Bloom. So does that crown mean that? <laughs> it means nothing. He's still our regular plain old Sky from Red Fountain. A specialist. Dude, a bud. A bro. I'm happy you're all together again. Huh? But I'm afraid it's already time to depart. The mission awaiting the Winx is very important and cannot be delayed any longer. Sorry, Miss Fergonda is right. Get yourselves ready then. The last fairy on Earth needs you and needs you now. Bummer. Cheer up. You will see each other soon enough, I'm sure. How did we do? I really hate lying to my girls, but they're going to need your help against the Wizards of the Black Circle. But after their defeat, you don't want them to lose any more confidence. We'll follow them, and when they need us, we'll be ready to knock those wizards down. I can't allow anything to get in the way of the success of this mission. Stay close to the girls, but far enough away so they don't know that you're there. The defeat the Winx suffered at the hands of the wizards is still fresh, and I don't want them feeling I have anything but total confidence in them. I'm counting on you, gentlemen. Hmm. I can't believe after all the battles we've been through, I actually have butterflies in my stomach. Maybe you're hungry. It's normal to be worried about facing the fairy hunters again. After hearing the horrible things they did to all those fairies on Earth, I'm nervous too. Well, I don't think we should be embarrassed about our fear. I mean, you can't have courage if you aren't kind of afraid to start. Do you guys want to know what I'm worried about? The Earth isn't exactly a small place. Our fairy could be anywhere. Techna, can't you build some kind of a pocket fairy finder or something? No, but I think I might know how to find out where on Earth this last fairy is. Hey, wait. Those are the books in the library's restricted area. Sure are. How can you have access to those with your hand held? It's impossible to copy magic text without a password spell, Tecna. Let's just say Miss Farragonda trusts me enough to give me the password spells for all the archives at Alfia. And you once called me a teacher's pet. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, wasn't that the Tree of Life? The Tree of what? The Tree of Life. We studied it in Professor Wizgiz's class, remember? Not really, but I bet Flora took notes. The Tree of Life is tied to all magic in the universe. Its roots, branches, leaves, and buds are connected to every magical creature. So, if everyone magical has a place on that tree, so will the last Earth Fairy. And where do we find this great Leafopedia? It's in Gloomy Wood Forest, in the tree village which is guarded by some little friends of ours. What are we waiting for? Let's go have a chat with that tree. Up you go.
fixies. Huh? Enough fun and games. Hide and seek is very last year. Or last decade, actually. I don't think they're playing. I think they're gone. But where? Infrared scan will tell us if our pixies are gone or if they're hiding somewhere. Someone's in that house! Okay, it's the second one from the inn. Well, we're not going to fit inside like this. Fairy dust! Mini wings! Whoa! I know, getting tiny feels weird every time. I had this feeling that everything around me just grew bigger. Sounded like a frog gobbler. And at our size, it could swallow us in one bite. We're actually smaller than many of the species of frog it gobbles. Don't make such a big whoop about it. If it gobbles you, just upsize before you're digested. Knock, knock. Hello, it's me, Stella. Is anybody home? Ah. Quick, boat. Retreat or keep going? Keep, keep going. going. Coming from in there. What? Huh? <laughs> uh -huh. I knew Pip could snore, but that's a whole new level, even for her. And the pot was amplifying her snores. You know, I bet it would make a great place to hold a recording session. <laughs> <laughs> Pip is having a nightmare. Huh? That definitely wasn't snoring. Winks and chanting. Back off, green luxuriant ivy. Check under the hood! That looks like us! How is that possible? Ocean of light! Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Hey, Fashion Nightmare! Over here! Come and get me! Instead of yelling and screaming all day, why don't you try and do something about your look? Fringe is totally out, and purple just doesn't go at all with your skin tone. Sound play! You get back here! We didn't cover footwear yet! Hey, good spelling with you, Bloom. These tents are eco-cute, but I would have preferred to stay small so we could have slept in the pixies' comfy little beds. We would have had to split up, and it's way better to stay together in case that monster comes back. Well, if that big blob brings back his hideous grunge roar look again, we'll send him back to oblivion just like we did the last time. I just hope all the pixies are safe. I'm really worried about them. The pixies are strong, but I'm worried too. It's not like them to disappear. <laughs> Just a nightmare, Pip. Calm down. I'm right here. It's okay. <gasps> Aisha, get Pip to a safe place. Uh huh? huh? And where do you think you're going? Winks and Chantix! Enchanted! We're in big trouble now! Magic Rainbow! Dragon Energy! Electric Storm! You'll be safe here. Sweet dreams, Piff. <laughs> 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 
We need to get a better look and see what this monster's about. I'm with you, Green Lagurian Ivy! It's like a dark, powerful void! But where is its power coming from? Wake up, little one. <laughs> to go. Then Wink's Convergence! There you are. I see you've been hiding right under my nose the whole time. Professor Palladium's advanced magical creatures class. It feeds on people's nightmares and uses them to create a monster. That pretty thing created that big, ugly monster? The monster came from Piff's imagination. The Dream Eater butterfly just read Piff's nightmare and made it real. Hey, little one, why do you have such scary dreams? Try not to eat such big, heavy meals at night. Piff says her cookies weren't heavy at all. Now follow me, girls. The tree is ready to answer all your questions. There it is! That's the tree of life! It's so beautiful! And its roots are connected to the entire magical universe, to every realm that exists! For each world, there is a different branch, and each leaf represents a specific fairy. This small, fragile branch is the Earth's branch. It is telling us there is a bud about to bloom. After many, many years, the only bud, quite possibly the last. Where is the bud right at this moment, Nymphia? Does the tree know where it is? She... she's in Gardenia. Bloom, the last fairy on Earth lives in Gardenia. That's amazing. The Earth fairy's from the same town as me? It's probably just a coincidence. Or incredible luck. Whatever. 
whatever it is, let's go find her. We'll come with you. No, little ones. This mission could be very dangerous. But we promise that as soon as we're back, we'll come visit you. But we're going to miss you so much. We have a special bond. We're never really apart. Promise me you'll come back safe and sound from this mission. Aw, you guys don't have to worry about us. And when we come back, we'll be bringing another fairy with us. <gasps> This is great news, because it means that another pixie will discover the magic bond. The bond between fairies and pixies. Oh, and who will she be? Um, calculating the data statistically, the bond has nothing to do with statistics, but with the heart. Whoever the lucky pixie will be, we'll come back soon to introduce you to the new fairy, the last fairy on Earth. Is that a promise? That's a promise. Winks on her. See you soon! Goodbye! In the next episode, the Winks get to Gardenia, and the six fairies will find out how difficult it is to live in a world that doesn't believe in magic anymore. But thanks to Flora, the Winks will soon make many magical friends. This is the start of something very special.